Hello, my name is Rosie Bonte and I'm a publishing manager at Brepold and I have responsibility for most of our series in archaeology. I just wanted to use this video as a chance to introduce myself, say hello to you and tell you a little bit more about Brepold. So Brepold is a very well established publisher with a strong background in history and in recent years we've been really trying to expand our archaeology sector as well so to that end we've set up a lot of exciting new series. Um, all of our series we work very closely with editorial boards who are experts in their field. Um, all of the books that we produce are rigorously peer-reviewed, carefully copy-edited and professionally typeset. So our aim is to produce really good groundbreaking research in archaeology that will be acknowledged by your peers as a, a hallmark in quality. So in terms of the new series that we've set up recently, I just wanted to give a quick overview of those and tell you a bit more about the different series that we've got. And um, I would warmly welcome proposals for both edited collections and monographs for any of these series. So please do get in touch if you think that any of these might be of interest to you. So in terms of the new series that we've set up, we've in recent years, we've got the Archaeology of Northern Europe, which focuses on really the lands encircling the North Sea and up into the Baltic. We have the Archaeology of the Mediterranean World, which um, focuses on the archaeology and cognate disciplines of the countries encircling the Mediterranean. We are proud to launch at this EAA the new Journal of Urban Archaeology, which is the first dedicated scholarly journal to recognise urban archaeology as a field in its own right. We have um, the series New Approaches in Archaeology, which is intended to promote the publication of thematically focused material that can explore topics or areas from a whole range of different angles. And it's all about um, promoting sort of rigorous, cutting edge and often data rich material. We have studies in the archaeology of the Islamic world, which provides a forum for exploring the um, archaeology and material culture of um, Islamic countries and countries that came under Islamic rule, covering everywhere from Iberia through to Eastern Europe, the Middle East and into Central Asia. Um, and we also have some more established series. So, for example, we have Contextualising the Sacred, which ex examines sacred space through its material and textual culture. We have Studies in Classical Archaeology, which provides in-depth research into all aspects of material culture relating to the classical world. Alongside these sort of quite broad series, we have some more site-specific series, but again, we're always interested in research that might be related to these areas. So, for example, we have the Gerash Papers, which is a, a series that's already running that promotes, um, that publishes all of the archaeology from Gerash. Um, and we've also recently established Antioch Studies, which is going to do something similar. It's going to be producing all of the archaeology to have come out of Gerash in recent years. Um, and we have Rome Studies, which is an interdisciplinary series that focuses on the archaeology, history and literature of Rome. And we have studies in Palmyran archaeology and history. So if you think that any of your any of your research might fit into this into these series and you'd like to find out a bit more, please do get in touch. It would be a pleasure to hear from you. Thank you very much.